Hi, and welcome back to our tutorial series for Morpho, our plugin for Rhino. Today in session 6, finalizing the model area. I'm your host Benjamin, and I'm going to lead you through this tutorial series. Today we are connecting all the Morpho modules we have used so far. Um, we're going to learn about what is the concept and a detailed design. And then we're finally going to create our Inex model, so our NVMIT model file. Now we are back in Grasshopper, and just as a quick recap, last time we looked at the materials and the database. So this is the this purple part, and we connected the material codes uh, to our entities. And now we have everything we need for our first model area. So for this, uh, we're going into the I/O option, and we need the Morpho model. And here you can already see what we need as an uh, input. So first, the Inix workspace. We'll take it from here. Then we need the Inix grid. So the model or the model creator um, knows how how big our model is. Just so gonna take from here from our Morpho grid module. Then the Enix location, this we also already created. We're going to take from here. Yep. Enix location. Then we need all the Enix objects. In our case, these are all our entities. We already prepared it in this relay, so we just have to connect this. And now for the following options. Uh, first, we can tell the model creator if it's if our model is supposed to be um, a detailed model. So I'm just gonna quickly explain you the differences um, how or the difference between how models are can be created in Envimit. So as a quick overview I'm gonna explain you the differences between the uh, uh, 3D modes in Envimit. So in either case you will of course have a 3D model which you can uh, view as such. But we distinguish between two kinds of uh, 3D visualization. So the first is the yeah, the basic, the normal um, design or the concept design, or we also call it 2.5D, because there all the values on a 2D plane are just um, yeah uh, scaled up into into the third dimension. But this means so. You got a basic 3D model like uh, here on the left, but this means that you can only have uh, one kind of material or building or entity or such uh, in one cell. So you can see at every height level, uh, it is the same, same uh, material, same color, and yeah, this is a can be a bit limiting. So we have the detailed design. Well, this is a full 3D design, and there you can have, of course, different materials and different uh, build, building blocks at different heights. So here you can also do things like um, uh, assigning materials to just uh, one one height level, or also one part is uh, single walls. These are those, uh, yeah, believe. Really not building blocks, but uh, flat, um, flat surfaces. But please note that these are not yet integrated into the Morpho plugin. Um, yeah, and of course, yeah, also at the windows, you can have a place individual windows at different heights. So now you should have an idea what is a detailed design. And per usual, for the most simulations, uh, or especially large-scale simulations, a normal 2.5D design is sufficient. But if you want to, you can uh, again use a Boolean toggle. Um, the default is false, so it's off. It's a normal design. But if you want to have a detail, you can set it to true. Um, but please also note that uh, it's quite more complex to uh, export a 3D or a detailed model from Rhino to Envimit. But we will discuss this also in a, another video. 
So we leave it as, uh, as is, and the next step would be to uh, follow terrain. Now, of course, we don't have a terrain in our current model, and this is also an uh, advanced feature, so this will also be covered in a different separate video. Um, now the last step is to run it. So for this, we just also need to connect a Boolean toggle. And if we set this to true, uh, this will, within the, um, the plugin, this will create the NX file. So the next step is to, to write and save the NX file to our device. So here we go also to I.O. and then Morpho write model. We just need to connect our Morpho model and then again a Boolean toggle. And this will, this will if you set to true, um, this will write the NX file on your um, uh, on the path file you set earlier in, in the workspace. So right here under in my case, uh, the D and V workspace, and then in the Morpho tutorial project. And now the final step is to um, to run the file we just uh, created, and this we going to do here at the uh, utilities, and then Morpho run Linux. Here we also just need to. Uh, connect the file path where the file is stored, and then with another Boolean toggle, um, if set to true, will automatically open the file in uh, in Npmod. So this is just gonna take a few seconds, and then the model will be uh, opened in Spaces. So Spaces is the Npmod app for uh, visualizing your, your model area. And here now we can uh, finally take a look how the, our model uh, looks in um, in environment and spaces. And we can also check if everything went correctly. So here we already see the 2D view. And if we switch to the 3D view, and then we can already see our buildings, our plants, we can activate the soil here. and we see our street, uh, our surface, our trees. And we see that uh, the buildings have the brick walls and roof greening. And you can also get more information if you go back to the 2D mode and click on, uh, on this here, on model info. And if you hover over the building, you can see on, on the right hand side um, the assigned materials. The height, the building name, building number, and also uh, for the plants and the, the soil. So this was it. Um, now we saw that our model looks good. It looks like uh, like a random model. And I'm just gonna group this here as the um, yeah, let's call it mix creation. And just uh, yeah, give it another color maybe. Right, and uh, please also note that you should probably always um, keep these toggles uh, at false, as I just one, because uh, otherwise, um, if you change uh, any variable, if you change anything here, we'll always go through the same process and then. Uh, create another index and so override it and um, uh, and yeah and run it and open it all the time so just uh, keep it at false and then you can continue working on your project and lastly just for context uh, of course now you can also open the the file from the folder here so it uh, was stored here in our a workspace folder under Morpho Tutorial, and of course you can start it here and then also view it in Envimet. So to summarize uh, today's session, we learned uh, how to create a Envimet file, a Inix file, and what we need to import uh, for this. 
And I also explained the differences, um, advantages, disadvantages of our different three modes. So in the next session, we're going to import weather data, which is crucial for starting the simulation. And until then, goodbye.